Hi, this is the fourth and last of uh, several introductory videos uh, for high school chemistry. And this one is on the basic properties of matter. So what is matter? Well, matter is anything that takes up space and has, has stuff in it. It has a quantity. It has an amount. Um, we know what matter is. It's all the, you know, this is matter. I'm matter. You know, even the air is, is matter. Space is not matter. Energy is not matter. But matter is anything that takes up space and has a certain amount or a certain mass, we might say. So more technically, matter is anything that has mass and volume. Now, volume is pretty much easy to understand. Volume is, you know, it takes up space. We understand that. Mass is, is not too hard to understand once, you, once it clicks. But it's hard to define. It's hard to describe. If you if you do an internet search on mass, you're going to come up with some high, fancy definitions that are like, huh? What's that? And so uh, maybe a good way to start is think of mass as anything. You know, how much stuff is in something. So you can have a greater mass or a lesser mass, and basically the mass is how much stuff is there. Now we have a tendency to equate mass with weight. But mass isn't really exactly the same as weight. Now, there is, a, there is a relationship between mass and weight. But a key thing, uh, you know, and we understand weight. So, like, if someone sits on you, you know, you understand that that's, you know, ah, this is heavy. You know, we understand if somebody throws um, a bowling ball at you, you know, oh, that's, that's heavy. And there is a correlation that bowling ball has more mass than a tennis ball does. But weight and mass aren't exactly the same thing. You see, mass does not change. No matter where you go in the universe, uh, well, if you get next to a black hole, mass changes, but that's not important right now. For our purposes, in the beginning of, of high school chem chemistry, mass is going to be the same no matter where you go in the universe. But weight changes depending on how much gravity you're near. So on Earth, you know, when if you if you go up a mile into the sky, your weight actually goes down. Your mass stays the same, but because you're farther away from the gravitational pull of the Earth, your weight goes down. In space, you're weightless. You have no weight uh, in space. If you were to go to Mars, you would be able to jump. You know, if you've seen the pictures of, of astronauts jumping on the moon, they could jump a lot farther. Why? Because the moon isn't as big and so it doesn't have as big of a gravitational pull. And therefore, even though your mass would be the same on the moon, your weight would not be the same. I can't remember the name. There's a movie where a guy goes to Mars, uh, and he's like a superhero on Mars because Mars doesn't have as much, uh, he doesn't have as much weight on Mars because Mars is a smaller planet. And therefore, he can jump, and he's stronger, and he can do amazing things um, because he's, he's, he, he doesn't have as much weight there. Of course, the whole idea of Superman is that is this guy that comes from Krypton, and ap apparently Krypton is this very uh, high mass, high gravitational planet. And so, when Superman's body is on Earth, you know he can leap tall buildings in a single bound because uh, because his body is used to uh, a greater uh, gravitational pull, and therefore he has a higher weight uh, would have on Krypton than on Earth. Um, so weight changes depending on what kind of planet you're near, um, what kind of gravitational pull you're in. But mass is the same. Mass is the amount of stuff uh, that is in you. Your mass is the same everywhere because it's how much stuff is in you. But your weight is the force you feel from the gravity of the earth pulling on you. The, the, gravi the, the pull on, on you by the, by the force of the earth. Now, of course, in science, we generally measure mass in grams and, and kilograms um, and the metric system. You remember that science uses uh, the metric system. Weight in science is measured by something called newtons, um, which is a force on uh, grams and kilograms. Now, if you're going to get into science, you're going to have to learn the metric system. I saw someone joke once and say, uh, isn't it funny that the only country that's actually been to the moon doesn't use the metric system? Well, the problem is, is that all the scientists that went to the moon did use the metric system. So the only people that don't use the metric system are the people who don't know science uh, in the United States. So those who, who go to the moon use the metric system. So enough said. 
So a couple other things as we finish up the pro basic properties of, of matter. What is density? Density is the amount of mass per volume. So air has a low density. You know, I have a much higher density than air. Um, a bowling ball, I assume, has a higher density than I do. So density is mass per volume, stuff per space, if you would. Now, at a, at a specific temperature and pressure, uh, the density of something like water is known. In fact, I have this you know old handbook of chemistry that I bought back in the 80s that has all these charts in it. You can find it all for free now on the web. Uh, but um, the chem handbook, you know, you had to buy it or, or check it out from a library in the, in the old days. Um, but basically, there's a standard kind of density that something has at a particular uh, pressure and temperature. So uh, the density of water is one gram per cubic centimeter at four degrees Celsius. In fact, that's kind of how, you, how, how the, the, uh, the gram was defined in the first place originally. Um, originally, the gram was defined by uh, the amount of mass water has uh, at a particular temperature. So, uh, densities are standardized. Two other things. What are physical and chemical properties? So, physical properties are basically what a substance is like on its own. Its mass, its volume, its density, etc. Um, chemical properties have to do with how substances change. Uh, as they, for example, interact with other substances, or how they interact with energy, um, or so. So, so chemical properties have to do with how substances, substances, some substances uh, change. Physical properties are how they are, kind of intrinsically or, or on their own terms. And there you have it. Those are some of the basic properties of matter.